So, good morning. I'd like to show the difference between a vertical 5 8 wave Gain Master and a 4 element Yagi. This is now the Gain Master 5 8 wave. Our signals. So that's quite a strong station. Not so many others though. That's a dot station. So with the Gain Master, you've got a few. And see how high the uh, QRM is. Strong signal. So you can certainly DX with the aerial, but now I'll turn over to the Yagi. Immediately you see so many more stations and mo so powerful. Let's find a look at a signal here. Now we'll go over to the 5 8 wave. See? Over to the Yagi. Now the Yagi. The background noise also goes quieter and the signal strength just... That's a weaker station with the Yagi now switching to the Gain Master. With the Gain Master, you can't even hear the station. Over to the Yagi. Well, I'm sure you get the idea. See if we can find a, a quieter station. Oh, look at these signals here. What have we got here? And this is all now with the Yagi. I'll switch over to the Gain Master. Now with the Gain Master, you see where the, the signals just disappear. Okay, we can still hear this guy. Gain Master. 
the signal's not so strong. Now the Yagu. Game Master. Yagu. So now you can begin to see how much better the Yagis are on doing the DXing. Oh, bit off frequency here. Let's try uh, the, the, the CB stations. Yagi. All with the Yagi. Five eighth wave. It's like you've lost an ear. The signals are the signals are still here. I'll switch over to the Yagi, and you can just see the difference. And hear the difference. Yagi, and now we're going to go over to the Gain Master. The phones get small. I don't, don't know where that station's gone now. Back to the. Back to the Yagi. Gain Master. Oh, the Gain Master can also hear him. CQ CQ DX 19 Charlie Tango calling CQ on 27 540 27 540 And a very good afternoon, the Northern Ireland station. Uh, this is 19 Charlie Tango, 022, broadcasting from Rotterdam in the Netherlands. <coughs> no problem at all. Hey, uh, uh, here. Uh, Kilo Ego Indo Tango Hotel. Um, 40 miles south of Belfast, heading towards the coastal route. QSL. Uh, what do you mean you're heading? Are you mobile? Because uh, on our last shout, I almost got plus forty from you. Are you a are you a mobile breaker? Home base, home base, home base. Yes, yeah, I was going to say a mobile breaker and plus forty into Rotterdam. That must be some good setup in your car. But uh, you're making the trip quite nicely. Uh, I've just turned the radio on maybe two minutes ago and my aerial is pointing towards Scotland and Ireland and I can hear a few Scottish stations, a few Irish stations. So I thought I'd give a shout and see how the people are <laughs> in Scotland or Ireland. Well, you're coming on here. Party over nine radio 
Yeah, thanks. Uh, uh, I, I was on maybe, uh, oh, what was it, three o'clock already? I was on maybe ten o'clock this morning, and such strong signals from Italy, Spain. I mean, we're talking plus thirties again from uh, Portugal, Spain, Italy, and it was just crazy. I had to turn the radio off. It was so crazy. I know, but <laughs> what's the answer? Uh, what do you do when you want to speak to somebody? Do you go on triple five, or do you go uh, QSK on the side, or what do you do? I just go to triple five and just hope that they, that they can hear me. <laughs> and uh, and does that work very well uh, when you do that? Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you have to QSK. Yeah, I know, I, I know. Uh, I'm using a four element Yagi, and sometimes a problem when my radio is on full power, uh, people can hear me far away, but unless they have a Yagi or also 100 watts, it's difficult for me to hear them. I'm not sure what aerial you're using, but uh, it can be a problem for people that use Yagis. Well, <coughs> Yagis has been to be more better. Well, my working conditions here is a uh, standard TF870. I'm using the best mic and I'm using a um, vertical 5-weight wave antenna. I have now switched over to my Gain Master 5 8 wave, which is about the same height as my Yagi. Is there any difference in the uh, signal quality? I'm now speaking to you from my vertical Gain Master 5 8 wave. The difference my side is, I cannot hear you as well. You maybe have lost to S2 on the meter. You've dropped by S2. Can you hear me okay? You've dropped to me S2 points as well. Yes, I got 70. Yeah, and that's what I've noticed. Uh, oh, so I'm in the middle of making a very short uh, YouTube video uh, about the difference between Yagis and... Uh, and the uh, the other one, the Game Master. So I just might use 20 seconds of your voice, if that's okay. No problem at all, you can use whatever you want. What would your call sign there again to yourself? Yeah, this is a 19 Charlie Tango, 022, and his personal John. And uh, like I said, I'm broadcasting from Rotterdam, which is uh, in the lovely country of the Netherlands. Over. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm not sure uh, your age, but uh, I'm 55, and uh, when I was around 16 or so, we started with the old AM straight forties, and for 30 odd years, I I've also done nothing. I moved to Holland, I've been here for 20 years in the Netherlands, and uh, about three years ago, I bought a second hand radio, uh, a superstar, and a really cheap uh, uh, f fake uh, GP27. And it's just gone on from there. And uh, yeah, it's nice to get back into the hobby. <laughs> well, whenever I was on it, well, I'm 58. Whenever I was on it, I used a copper rod, a, a silver rod, and I used an audio line 40 channel there, GSL. But it's an expensive hobby as well. Uh, it can be. Uh, three years ago, I had bought myself a Superstar 3900, which, or, which was around 30 years old. It was an all-bander. You're quite, you're probably f familiar with the sort. It goes, uh, there was like I think six bands: A, B, C, D, E, so on. 
and here 40 channels per band and that was like i think 80 euros second hand and had that aerial which cost me 25 euros a bit of coax i think for 100 euros or so i was up and running and three years ago the propagation was really quite strong and i was talking to people all over europe 100 euros <laughs> there you go <laughs> Uh, well, if you're going to sing a song, I'd say it's probably not very good. But uh, if you're just going to talk, it sounds very clear. You don't have very much bass. You have more of the higher frequencies, which is just perfect for uh, for uh, DXing. I'll tell you what, just say, say something else, just give me maybe six seconds of audio uh, and I can help you out. Uh, I hope that was a little bit helpful. Right, I'm going to try it with the processor off, if you don't mind. Yeah, just give us a couple of seconds and I'll record it for you. Yeah. That's just the processor off, and I would like to hear my voice to see what it was like to see if it was any better or any worse. Cue yourself. For me, I thought it's much better, but have a quick listen. I was a bit late recording, but uh, hang on a minute. Uh, it, it kind of had more uh, volume uh, and a bit... Yeah, I think it's better what you have now. Well, that's the processor off. Yeah, you know, sometimes uh, the radio I'm using, I've... I can change the, the, the bass and the treble for transmitting and receiving. I've got all these filters and all sorts of things I can do. But I find I get the best results is just turn everything off, uh, set the bass and treble to zero, uh, and I just set uh, everything kind of out. And I think that way it's the best uh, general setting. Uh, well, that's what I find. I do, I don't work with any, I just say the filters are the one way I have got this CB. Uh, maybe just turn the mic in or whatever up or down, or maybe have to turn the processor up, but that's all the screen. I do the DSL. It, it reminds me, years ago when people used to have uh, graphic equalizers, and they still have today, you know, for one song, you can really fine tune it, so for that song, it sounds fantastic. The bass, the mid, the treble, but you play another song and it's totally out of adjustment. So, uh, yeah, at the moment, my, my stereo amplifier downstairs doesn't even have a bass or treble uh, adjustment. It's just a, a straight uh, stereo amplifier. So sometimes it's better just to leave things alone. Uh, well, that's my experience. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, a wire. Is it, uh, is it like an all-bander wire, which are around 20 metres long? Is it that sort of wire? It's a D5 something. No idea. What, uh, is it literally a wire, uh, or is, the, is that the name of an aerial? The name of the D5 something wire or something, sir. Go on, yeah, I'm waiting, no problem. Wow, not yeah, yeah, but not very well. Uh, you probably dropped uh, an S4. You dropped maybe four steps down. Very quiet. Uh, oh well, not 
Have you got uh, an an an, uh, an antenna tuner or an SWR meter? Because those wires are, are very difficult to tune. You do need to tune them in on certain bands. Yeah, I have an antenna tuner on the right here. Do you have? Now that's me back on the vertical again. Do you know? Yeah, you're getting almost uh, into the plus 30s, but I am getting plus 10 in, in just interference, which is normal when I point my aerial your way for some reason uh, towards uh, the west. Get, I get lots of interference, but yeah, you, you do, you're making the trip very, very well. Have you spoken to many uh, stations in, uh, in the Netherlands uh, today? No, I'm not that long on today. No, you're the first one. Well, uh, I'm going to to yourself. And a good afternoon, this is 19 Charlie Tango, 022, calling CQ, standing by. 19 Charlie Tango, 022, a 29 India Papa, 201 calling. A 29 India Papa, Papa, a very good afternoon, this is personalist John, John, from the city of Rotterdam. Roger, John, no problem at all. John, do you mind just standing by for a moment? I just have a call on the phone here, Roger. Uh, you want to do? You want to go and do what? John, just bear with me a second. I just have my landline ringing here at my house, so uh, I call you back as soon as I can. On my phone, thank you. Okay. If if it's for me, tell them I'm not home. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted to do. 